Hello. Today we're going to do a few practice dimensional analysis problems. There's two of them here, and the first one we're going to talk about is this one. You're admitting a patient who has a bleeding stomach ulcer. He tells you that he's been taking three aspirin tablets every five hours for the last three days. Each aspirin tablet, when you look on the um, bottle that he gives you, you notice that each aspirin tablet has 325 milligrams. How many milligrams of aspirin did this patient take each day? So the question is, how many milligrams per day? And just as in real life, you have more information here than you need to solve the problem. But first we're going to set up our unit of measure, and our unit of measure is milligrams per day. So we're going to write milligram per day. The next thing we do is we write our equal sign. Then we draw a line so that visually we know that there's going to be a numerator and a denominator. Now, when I talk about numerator and denominator, these are not perfect pure fractions. These are relationships. So when we're talking dimensional analysis, we're talking relationships. So there's going to be a relationship pattern here. But we know absolutely that the first numerator unit will have to be milligrams. We know that because our numerator here in our unit of measure is milligrams. Unit of measure is milligrams. So we're going to write milligrams. And what do we have in the problem that has milligrams? Well, each aspirin tablet is 325 milligrams. So we start out with milligrams. So we write 325 is to one tablet. We make our x, our multiplication, and again we're looking for a relationship. Now, we've got tablets in the denominator here. We know that we're going to cross up or climb that hill. We know that tablets, we can write that in, is going to be in the next numerator for the next relationship. So what do we have in the problem with tablets? Well, this fella is taking three aspirin tablets every five hours. So we can write three tablets is to five hours. And this is a given quantity. Our milligrams to tabs here is also a given quantity. We draw our X, make a line, and we know that hours has to cross up, so we climb the hill with hours. We can write hours right here. What do we have in the problem with hours? Well, we don't. We have days here, and we're looking for days. So how much milligrams is in a day? So we know we have to have a conversion factor. So our conversion factor, starting with hours, is going to be 24 hours in one day. Are we ready to solve this problem? Well, let's take a look. We cross up here. So our tabs cross up and our tab tab is, is canceled. Our hour to hour is canceled. What do we have left? We have day and we have milligrams. And that is our unit of measure. Now we know we are ready to calculate. We can um, multiply across, and we have 325 times 3 times 24, and that ends up to be 23,400. That's our numerator, and we have 1 times 5 times 1, which will be 5. We divide 23,400 by 5, and we end up with 4680. And that's 4680 what? 4680 milligrams per day. And it's time for some patient teaching for him.
Our next dimensional analysis problem, uh, we're looking at a little baby. So we are calculating fluid intake of a baby who is receiving five fluid ounces of formula every four hours. The question is asking how many milliliters of formula will this baby receive each day? Interesting. We've got fluid ounces here, five fluid ounces, and the question is asking for milliliters. So we set, start up our dimensional analysis by putting in our units of measure. Our units of measure are milliliters per day. And we can write this unit of measure and we draw an equal sign. We're looking for a relationship now. We draw a line so that visually we know there's going to be a relationship, a numerator and denominator, and in that numerator automatically we know it's got to be milliliters. So we can, before we do anything else, we can simply write our milliliters here. In this problem, what do we have with milliliters? We don't. We have five fluid ounces of formula every four hours. So that tells us right away that first relationship is going to be a conversion factor. And what do we have with conversion factors with milliliters and ounces? We have 30 milliliters are in one fluid ounce. So we put this relationship, 30 milliliters in one fluid ounce, that is a conversion factor. We make our X, draw a line. We know that, absolutely we know, in that numerator is going to be fluid ounces. So I can even write that right away. So in our problem, what do we have with fluid ounces? We have five fluid ounces of formula every four hours. So we can write five fluid ounces in four hours. Well, we're looking for days, not hours, aren't we? So we're not ready to solve yet. We draw our X, make a line, and we know right away that hours is going to be in that numerator. What do we have with hours? We need a conversion factor, don't we? So we're going to write our conversion factor as 24 hours in one day. Are we ready to solve yet? Well, let's look. We know our milliliters are here, and fluid ounces crossed up. They cancel. Hours cross up, and they cancel. Our, what do we have left? We have day, and we have milliliters. And that is our unit of measure, milliliters in day. So yes, in fact, we are ready to solve. And what we do is we multiply 30 times 5 times 24. And we, and we end up with 3,600. And 1 times 4 times 1 and that gives us 4. So 4 goes into 3,600, and the answer there is 900. 900 what? 900 milliliters per day. And there you have it.